okay we have to propose the mechanism for this reaction so this is slightly tricky you just copy and the medium is acidic so you have to write mechanism in the presence of H plus and that is the acidic medium so you now I know one thing that is the medium is acidic so you have to write mechanism in acidic medium now you just copy and think what can you do you see the sulfur first is attached to this carbon it's this carbon that is a benzene ring and this ring and now this is attached of course this is attached to now see this carbon it looks like let us check you have this oxygen this oxygen and now there is a only one oxygen so one thing is clear there is a loss of one H2O molecule so I know one thing there is loss of H2O so loss of H2O is there so one thing is sure there has been one molecule of H2O has been lost now I have two options I can lose H2O from here or I can lose H2O from here if I lose H2O from here I will have a basically a plus charge and there is resonance stabilized by sulfur or that is called neighboring group participation are you getting or not so you can have something called neighboring group participation it looks like so this is a problem something related to NGP neighboring group participation so it looks like there are something like neighboring group participation now you see if I make a carbocation here and if I try to attack this oxygen what is the size of ring 1, 2, 3, 4, only 5 member ring I will have but now you also see this oxygen if I take this oxygen is a nucleophile so one of the OH is acting as a nucleophile you can say primary alcohol is acting as a nucleophile so let us say I have another hint that is primary OH acting as a nucleophile so this is basically acting as a nucleophile so this is acting as a nucleophile so this is another hint I have so this may be acting as a nucleophile so now if I use all these ideas now if this attacks oxygen attacks here I will have only five member ring but if this oxygen attacks on this carbon I will have a six member ring and this oxygen is also connected to this ring and that is my task so you think how can you do this one so let us say you have this compound first you have benzene ring here so let me write so this is the benzene ring so you have benzene ring and then here you have a sulfur and then you have a here you have a six member ring cyclohexane so you have a six member ring and then here you have OH and then you have OH now what you can do is first step H plus attack loss of H2O so I have H plus this H plus goes here and in the same step I am losing H2O so there is no need to make the same thing two times so I am losing H2O so if I lose H2O what I will have I have a benzene ring so this ring is there and then I have a sulfur here sulfur contains lone pair and then this sulfur is basically connected to a six member ring so I have a six member ring here cyclohexane and now I have a carbocation here and then I have this this so this is the final now you see I can have this sulfur basically having two lone pair now this can basically this lone pair can attack on this carbocation to make this carbocation stable so this attacks here so what you will have if you have something like this this is called neighboring group participation so this is NGP so if you have something like this you will have a cyclohexane ring and then you have here sulfur so this sulfur and then this side you have a pH group that is a benzene ring so let us call it pH and this sulfur is basically connected to so there is a three member ring so this carbon is connected to sulfur carbon connected to cyclohexane and then you have this same thing you have to copy OH now you see another advantage I have so this ring is a cyclopropane ring is a ring a strand so this is a strand ring you have are you getting or not so this is a, a strand ring here you have now this ring can be easily opened and you see if you see the product you have to have one oxygen attached to this carbon so basically what can you do you can do one thing you attack this oxygen on this carbon open this sulfur are you getting or not so what I want to say so let us say attack this oxygen on this carbon 
and then open this curve on this side open this bond this side so if you follow this step so what you will have so if you follow this step you will have a cyclohexane ring so there is a cyclohexane ring and then you will have this uh, this lone pair so this oxygen is connected to this carbon are you getting or not so what you will have you will have one two three four five and containing oxygen six member ring so you will have here a six member ring so let us make a six member ring and this side will have a oxygen are you getting or not so this side will have a oxygen and you will have a six member ring so this is the six member ring you have are you getting so this is the six member ring you have and then you see on this carbon so this carbon that is carbon on the ring and then next carbon have sulfur and ph so next carbon contains so this carbon contains sulfur and ph are you getting obvious in this case basically this sulfur has a positive formal charge so that i can also show and now there is no formal charge on sulfur basically now oxygen will have a hydrogen and that will have a formal charge so what you can do in the next step you lose h plus so if you lose h plus in the next step the final you can write so you have a cyclohexane ring here and then you have a six member ring so there you have a six member ring and here you have oxygen and then you have a six member ring so let me write so there is a six member ring and then i have here sulfur and ph are you getting or not so this is easy one so one important point in this problem you have that is something called neighboring group participation this oxygen has two lone pairs so i have to show these two lone pair also so you can check the product so finally you have the same thing you have here a benzene ring as ph that is i am showing simply this is a ph if you want you can so say exaggerated way there is benzene ring